In these problems, we're doing some work with the double angle formulas. So there's one formula for double the angle of a sine. So the sine of 2u, in this case, would be 2 times the sine u cosine u. For the cosine, there's actually some choices, and uh, which is pretty nice, because you can choose the one that's sort of easiest to calculate. The double angle of a cosine, um, so cosine 2u, is either the cosine squared of that angle minus the sine squared of that angle, or it's 2 times the cosine of that angle minus 1, or it's 1 minus 2 times the sine squared of that angle. So let's uh, give it a try. This first one gives us the cosine uh, of theta as 3 sevenths, and we're between uh, 2 pi and 5 pi over 2, and we want to we find the value of the double angle of the cosine of 2 times theta. Now they're giving us this information so that if we needed sine for one of these formulas, we could determine whether it's positive or negative. But in this case, uh, why don't we just use the one that doesn't require sine? Let's try this one. So 2 times the cosine squared of u minus 1. And the cosine of theta here is 3 sevenths. So it's going to be 3 sevenths squared. So that's this part of the formula. We multiply that by 2, and we subtract 1. Now at this point, all you have to do is plug that through your calcula calculator. So we'll start with 3 sevenths. And then we'll square that, and then we'll multiply by 2, and we'll subtract 1. And we get a negative 0.633, and that would be our answer for that one. Let's try another. So this one says uh, we have the sine of theta is 6 sevenths and we're between 2 pi and 5 pi over 2, find the value of um, the sine of 2 theta. So remember, with the sine, we only have one formula, and you need the sine and the cosine for that one. So we're going to have to find our cosine. And they've said that it's between 2 pi and 5 pi over 2. Well, here's 2 pi, right? It's back at 0. 5, this is the same as 4 pi over 2. 5 pi over 2 is just another pi over 2 around. So it's in this first quadrant. So everything's going to be positive. So when we try to find our value of cosine, we know it's going to be positive. So let's go ahead and try to find our value of cosine. If we've got the sine is 6 sevenths, we know that the sine squared plus the cosine squared equals 1. And we can do our subtraction here. So that would be cosine squared of theta equals 1 minus, that would be 36 forty ninths. And so the cosine, let's see, that's 13. So cosine is going to be the square root of 13 over 7. So just combined a couple of steps. I did the subtraction, then I took the square root. And we know this is going to be positive. So there's our cosine value. Now we want to plug that into the formula. And the double angle formula for sine, for sine is 2 times the sine of theta uh, times cosine theta. So 2 times the sine of theta, which we're given, is 6 sevenths times the cosine of theta, which is square root of 13 over 7. And then, let's see, we'll go ahead and figure this out as a decimal. So that's going to be 2 times 6 times 13 square root divided by 49. And I get 0.883. And that is our answer for that one. So that's a little bit about um, how to apply the double angle formulas.